Chapter on the divine verse of Al Hijab, veiling of women. Narrated Anas bin Malik that he was a boy of ten at the time when the Prophet peace be upon him emigrated to Al Madinah. He added, "I served Allah's Messenger for ten years, the last part of his lifetime, and I know more than the people about the occasion whereupon the order of Al Hijab was revealed to the Prophet peace be upon him." Ubay bin Kaab used to ask me about it. It was revealed for the first time during the marriage of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, with Zainab bint Jash. In the morning, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was a bridegroom of her, and he invited the people who took their meals and went away. But a group of them remained with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and they prolonged their stay. Allah's Messenger got up and went out, and I too went out along with him till he came to the lintel of Aisha's dwelling place. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, thought that those people had left by then, so he returned, and I too returned with him till he entered upon Zanab and found that they were still sitting there and had not yet gone. The Prophet, peace be upon him, went out again, and so did I with him till he reached the lintel of Aisha's dwelling place, and then he thought that those people must have left by then, so he returned, and so did I with him, and found those people had gone. At that time, the divine verse of Al Hijab was revealed, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, set a screen between me and him, his family. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, married Zainab, the people came to greet and were offered a meal, and then they sat down after finishing their meals and started chatting. The Prophet, peace be upon him, showed as if he wanted to get up, but they did not get up. When he noticed that. He got up, and some of the people also got up and went away, while some others kept on sitting. When the Prophet peace be upon him returned to enter, he found the people still sitting, but then they got up and left. So I told the Prophet peace be upon him of their departure, and he came and went in. I intended to go in, but the Prophet peace be upon him put a screen between me and him, for Allah revealed, "O you who believe, enter not the Prophet's houses." Quran. Chapter thirty-three, verse fifty-three. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Omar bin al-Khattab used to say to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, "Let your wives be veiled." But Allah's Messenger did not do so. The wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to go out to answer the call of nature at night only, at Al Manase. Once Sada, the daughter of Zama, went out, and she was a tall woman. Omar bin al-Khattab saw her while he was in a gathering and said, "I have recognized you, O Soda." He, Omar, said so as he was anxious for some divine orders regarding the hijab, veiling of women. So Allah revealed the verse of al-hijab, a complete body cover excluding the eyes. See Volume One, Hadith Number One Hundred and Forty-Six.